this is actually an awesome boat. I, I genuinely, I thought I was going to hate it, but I've completely changed my mind on this. This is such a kicking boat. It really is cool. Hi guys, welcome back to Sim UK and of course welcome back to Fishing Barren Sea. Now in the last episode I had an issue with the game crashing every time that I was trying to uh, buy the Vebeki Catherine. Ka I don't know how to pronounce it. But uh, yeah, I've discovered what the bug was. At some point, a memo had gone round to all of the uh, beta testers. Um, this is before release by the way. Uh, a, a, an email or a, a memo went round to all of the beta testers saying that the beta branch was now over and to revert back to the original branch because all updates etc would be going there. Now I missed that so I was still on <laughs> I was still on the beta branch uh, right up until last week so when I made uh, when I tried to make that video so I went to Steam and I validated all my local files that fixed that particular problem but then after that i discovered that i was actually on the wrong branch uh, entirely so i've now updated and i'm up to uh, modern day standards but this video was recorded in the old day standards so you have to forgive any bugs or issues that you see in this particular video videos from this point on will be on the new stuff and will be full of super cool things i am absolutely certain of that full disclosure i am recording the audio for this after the fact so the reason being that the recording that i originally recorded had no microphone audio whatsoever just white noise and static no idea what went wrong there but something definitely went wrong so you can see me here unfortunately when i reloaded my game i was quite far back so uh yeah we're a little bit short of the 1.9 million kroner that we need so I'm out fishing again. In fact, we're so far back, we're not even into the era or the month where cod can be caught. So we're not likely to be catching any cod straight away. Now I won't bore you with the uh, net fishing because I've already done it. Well, I've done it three times uh, due to the bug crash that I was having. But again, that's because I was running on the wrong branch. 187,000 kroner gives us just enough money to go buy the Vebeki Catherine. So the Vebeki Catherine is, <laughs> at first look, is a hugly boat. I mean, fugly. This thing is not a pretty boat. It's built for purpose, not for style. Due to the large volume of fish that can be stored on a Vebeki Catherine, you're now required to stack all fish before selling them. Stacked fish must be gutted first and can optionally be frozen as well. You will need at least one crew member to stack the fish for you. So it's just an extra process. So when you look at this boat, it does very much look like the front end of another boat, doesn't it? Now you can see there, I'm, I was chatting around, I was chatting about how many lines we've got. Because you can net fish on this boat and line fish on this boat. Same as the, um, as the Sharken, but on a, a much larger scale. There's quite a few updates and upgrades available, as you can see. But um, because we spent literally everything that we have and we've got 20,000 left, see 20,000 for the net hauler, we're going to have 23 kroner left. Now that means I won't be able to buy any nets. I uh, definitely want to get a freezer at some point as well. But um, yeah, to start with, it's going to be line fishing. We're going to be going back to line fishing. But what we can do is take, uh, is store a heck of a lot more fish. And I think even before. Uh, we go for upgrade, upgrades, we could do that. So if I grab a couple of baited lines, and ideally I think we're going to be going for cod. So we'll try for that. We'll see how we get on. So here we go, first time out in the Vebeki Karatan. We've got Rasmussen, a uh, new member of the crew. There's a long story behind how we ended up with this guy, because originally we took a, a lady on, 
but uh, the game crashed again and I lost her so uh, <laughs> yeah it's been quite a few trial and errors now just to explain why it's been such a long time since I've managed to get any videos out it this kind of a bit percy so I'll be quick and brief with it because you know only some of you are going to be interested in this but my five-year-old daughter um, uh, is autistic and as a result of that we have a lot of meetings with doctors specialists schools and we even have like parenting uh, meetings so I've been really really busy with that and not been able to uh, to really get this video finished um, my god it really really does look like the front end of another boat doesn't it okay so it looks like this is the only hotspot we've got for cod and we definitely want want cod so uh, I'll probably uh, fast travel in this just because um, I've been trying to get this video out for a long time so I just kind of partially want to get it done so here we are out at sea now right we're gonna drop a line smack bang in the middle of this and uh, away we go so it's very much like uh, the first boat the Borg um, or even the shark in for line fishing very much the same sort of process uh, I still think you should have full energy uh, available uh, full engine speed available to you this is the inside of the cabin I've not been in here before unfortunately the binoculars still aren't working the sonar that's quite nice and big actually I like that that's that's uh, an improvement um, yeah I mean it's cozy this is what I would call a traditional modern day fishing boat this is the kind of thing you see on uh, uh, trawler men and so on and so forth and it's it's do you know what it's pretty tidy in here leather seats very comfortable for the captain probably a little bit less so for the crew down below but for the captain very nice indeed oops slight glitch there can I get back in yes I can good 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 not sure what happened there okay well just looking at the sonar there that doesn't seem to work we'll take a very very short tour of this boat because it literally is just the front of a boat they've just chopped the arse off and uh, welded the back shut that's how it looks to me but I have to say rather surprisingly I didn't think I was going to like this boat but now having been out and uh, spent just literally a very short amount of time on this boat this is now my favorite and I wish you could climb up there just for the sake of being able to do it. There doesn't seem to be any route downstairs, by the way, none at all, uh, not even closed off. So I'm not sure how the captain would ever get down from here. But uh, yeah, we won't be able to do that today or ever by the looks of things. But uh, yeah, the dash and the layout, pretty awesome. And there's the phone so we can get Rasmussen or Bart as I like to call him get him cooking up some burgers whilst we're dropping these lines in see a couple of redfish down there now, I can't remember if I'm hunting for cod or redfish there is cod isn't it yes so okay we're gonna pop down to this one that's the only other place where really where I can see that there's cod available we're gonna do a little test um, because someone said the other day that when you uh, fast travel you can actually uh, unlock part of the uh, fog of war but I don't think you can I think you could but I don't think it works anymore no pretty sure that doesn't work anymore so okay well that bug is presumably no longer a bug this is a very very bouncy boat it really is I mean you look how tall it is um, it's not really big waves but she is rocking and rolling you see Bart in there working away cooking some burgers up and there's me up in my captain's seat looking very cool this is actually an awesome boat I, I genuinely I thought I was gonna hate it but I've completely changed my mind on this this is such a kicking boat it really is cool absolutely love it I cannot wait to get a freezer in here and start doing some serious fishing um, I still have a bit of a concern around how many fish you can catch on each line or on each net I just think uh, you fill up your boat way too quickly I can't see that that's realistic um, in all honesty because in any of these trawler men videos or whatever they're always 
you know, getting a catch, but it's not enough of a catch. Getting a catch, but it's it's not filling the hole. And if they don't get enough fish, they're not going to be able to pay for the fuel. Well, I, you know, I don't experience any of that in here. I put the line in, go back to it, pull it in, and the hold is completely full. So uh, yeah, I think it needs a bit of tweaking still. But I'm looking forward to the day when that aspect of the game is really improved. A lot of people have sort of suggested being able to offload to another boat so the other boat takes it back to shore at a cost to you obviously but uh, yeah that's an interesting idea I wouldn't mind seeing that to be honest. I'd also quite like the mechanics of having to you know line up the two ships accurately and pass the fish over so lots of interesting stuff. So we've got quite a bit of time to uh, to kill let those lines sit and soak as it's called and um, see how many fish we have at the end so I'm going to take this boat out and um, run it through its paces at some point today I do like as well that the boat leans the correct way and it kind of feels a bit unstable when it's got no fish in it at all because obviously it's sitting higher out the water and it's probably less easy to steer there's probably a sweet spot somewhere in between the, f the hold being halfway full uh, if it's too full you probably have the same problem and you know potentially sink sinking is not something that's in the game yet but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's gonna come I can't imagine that it wouldn't I don't have confirmation on that being the case um, on some things I do have confirmation but uh, yeah that's not one thing that I definitely have confirmation on but uh, definitely at some point I think it has to happen it has to be possible to sink this boat otherwise uh, otherwise it's not really sailing is it um, it's just floating I guess <laughs> so I'm gonna bring this beauty back into shore honestly handling this is so much fun and you're so high up it feels much much better I actually prefer this over the sharking and I never thought I'd say that you okay puppet yeah okay darling so I got my little girl with me today Doing some colouring downstairs, aren't you, sweetheart? Yeah, the toilet. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she's in the toilet. I shouldn't be talking to her. Yeah, so we'll let some time pass here. Skip some time. Six hours should do it. Yes, indeed. This is just a test. It's not really a let's play. This is just a f more like a first look at Vibeki. Sorry. I have to do scrubbing first. Okay, go on then. Listen to that engine, that's a nice sounding engine. It's it's a nice low hum, unlike the Borg, which is like kind of a rackety old tin can being kicked down the street. Mommy, Mommy, Daddy, yep. can I have a look at that bubble? Sure. So here we are coming up on our uh, on our line to pull in, and you can see it's blue. We're pretty sure now that blue means ideal green is just before ideal well green means ready blue means you know at its best possible haul as it were so we're going to line this up we're going to get bart on the line puller any second now and then we can uh, pull it in now it's exactly the same as the shark and except it's <laughs> up here it's uh, a bit more difficult to see obviously because you're very very high up and this is a big powerful boat in comparison to the Sharkin and uh, also this one leans the correct way which is uh, something you've got to get used to if you've been driving the Borg or the Sharkin for too long you can see there's the line arm just hanging out the edge there uh, Bart's currently on repair so we'll drop him on the long line haul and he should just like the Sharkin pull this in instantly without me having to do a darn thing Boom, and there he is, he's off. So this is the first time Bart has pulled any fish in for me. You can see this, looks like there's a cod on the first one. Nice. I didn't see what he got there. I think it was good. He's pretty good at net hauling. So when we get round to doing that, he should be pretty effective member of the team. See how close I can get in here. Yeah, look at that. This is such a cool boat. And genuinely, hand on heart, oh, he missed one, you pillow. Hand on heart, I thought I was going to hate this, but actually, it's an absolute beauty. Now, we'll be taking her out and um, 
taking her through some big waves and just seeing how well she handles herself in uh, in rough weather. Yeah, this is cool. He's doing okay with his first catch, Mr. Bart. For those of you who remember Harold, he will be missed and uh, never forgotten. But uh, Bart is his new replacement and uh, it's going to be a while before Bart becomes a full member of the team. Especially if he doesn't improve his line hauling. Well, to be fair, he's a net hauler and we'll be doing that soon enough. Basically, as soon as we got enough money, hopefully off the end of these two lines, we'll have enough money and then we can get some net fishing out there because I'd like to progress onto trawling. I want to make a trawling tutorial for you guys as well. A lot of you have been asking me about it. And there's been a lot of developments. Oh, he's missed another one, look. There's been a lot of developments in um, in the in the hauling aspect and the boats that do it. So the, the Hermes and the Luna Bow. They've both had a lot of updates coming in their general direction, which is good because back when I originally did my hauling or my first look videos at those two boats, there are a lot of features that are there now that were not there then and a lot of fixes to bugs and so on and so forth as well. So that's it, he's finished that line. Um, we're just under halfway full, which is good. So we'll get him hand gutting those fish. And uh, off he goes, that's the hand gutting location. It'd be nice if that was animated at some point so there was a fish on the table at least. Uh, it appears that we still have the option to gut fish ourselves, so that's how we can get downstairs. And we still seem to have that bug where he is still gutting the fish even though we're standing there. But uh, yeah, I just did that to see if you could or show that you could. So we'll leave him... Uh, wow, look at that. I just gutted one fish and made quite a dent in the amount of fish that needs to be done. That's an interesting point. So I could just jump down and do a couple here, there and everywhere and and that would be uh, that would be quite an effective technique, I think. I should have brought a line with me so I could have dropped another one down, but we're going to hot tail it down to this one and pick this up and just see looks like Bart's too tired to work that's good timing hopefully he's got enough energy yeah he's pretty well rested he should have enough energy just to haul the long line in but whilst he's eating his burger and having a bit of a rest a bit of R&R &R, we can uh, just have another look at the boat here look at the storage options you can see we're just below halfway Yeah, this boat handles really, really, really well, actually. It seems incredibly stable, but at the same time, hugely unstable. Right, let's get Bart onto the long line. He hasn't quite finished eating his burger, but uh, he can always go back to that afterwards. Oh, no, I've decided to wait. Am I going to be kind enough and let him eat his burger? Surely not. That doesn't sound like me. No, nope, he's on the long line. He can go back to eating his burger later. Let's see how he does this time round. So you've no idea how many fish are on the long line, or at least in this view I don't. He did okay with that first one. Let's hope he doesn't miss any this time round. Now look at that. That is an awesome shot right there. I'm really impressed with that. So impressed, in fact, I have just... Uh, uh, use that as my screenshot for this video, I think. So yeah, um, he seems to be doing okay, I think. I don't believe he's missed any. Um, I can't really tell, actually, whether he's missing any or not for some reason. But anyway, that is a cracking shot of the uh, of the side of the boat there. And uh, once he's pulled these in, we're probably going to be nearly full. I don't think we're going to be completely full. I think two short lines completely filling up a boat of this size is a bit unrealistic to be honest with you but then I'm not a fisherman so I mean I'll be interested to hear because I know quite a few fishermen out there are actually watching some of my videos and interested in this game so if you're a fisherman and um, you have your opinion on whether or not two long lines two 250 long lines could be enough to fill up a boat of this size even with the hold not expanded um, it just doesn't seem realistic to me but then like I say I'm not really a fisherman so uh, I wouldn't know how realistic or unrealistic it is in reality. But this is a cushy boat, and I'm going to show you in a minute how well she handles in the waves. 
So let's just uh, let Bart finish his burger off. We'll give him another one, in fact. He is going to have to gut some fish at some point, but uh, we'll let him boost his energy first. You can see we're not quite completely full up, but we're not far off it, to be honest. Um, and we don't have any more lines to, uh, to lay out, so I'm just going to take these into shore. Uh, get Bart to process as many as he can, perhaps, when we're going up there. Uh, and then maybe I'll just finish the rest off or because it's just like a first look video I might just uh, I might just chuck them in as they are to be honest with you now. I don't fast travel um, By I don't fast travel. I mean, this is the first time I've ever fast traveled and I'm only really doing it because um, I, It needs to be done. That's basically the issue here. So uh, yeah, here we are I've just had this crazy thought that possibly, just possibly, the audio is not screwed up for this video and that I've broken the audio after editing. So I might just have to ch check that in a minute. If I haven't broken the audio, then uh, I'm going to feel like a total fool. So we're going to sell our fish up here at this port and um, bring in a couple of extra crew members. That's going to be our first job so that we can process fish and uh, get the jobs that need to be done done. I always put him in the wrong place. I put him on long line hauling when I mean to put him on hand gutting. That's totally my mistake and I keep doing it, which is annoying. Uh, right, so yeah, I'm going to do a bit of fast traveling here, there and everywhere just to give him a chance to, uh, to gut those fish. it needs to be done before we get into port and he's much 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 better at it than I am so Bart is tired already how far has he got about halfway really so we'll chuck him a burger we'll fast travel again that should boost his energy and then uh, and then hopefully he'll be able to finish it that should be enough time surely uh, yeah he's nearly fully 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 fit nearly put him in the wrong one again hand gutting ahoy you can see him walking around there. I love the fact that he's animated. Look at the roll we've got on this boat. And these aren't big waves. These are just little waves. But look at her. She is bouncy and bubbly. Right. Let's do some uh, fast traveling and uh, just see where we are in terms of fish processed. Whoops. So yeah, he's, he's nearly done. We just need him to stack the fish now, otherwise we can't sell them. Uh, but he's pretty knackered, so we're gonna give him a burger and let him rest again. A bit more fast travel required. We should go out, come back in again. That should be enough to give him some energy. Quite a lot of energy, I think. That took away. That took a while, I mean. Okay, so we're pretty short on fuel. Um, we do need to get this fish processed, so we'll pop him on there and uh, a last bit of fast travel should theoretically unlock the, uh, sorry, get it all stacked and uh, then we can go sell it and get a full crew on board, which would be nice. Yeah, perfect. So there's a couple of fish there that haven't been processed and it's fine because you can't sell them when they're like that. So they'll just sit there, so we can process those and sell them at a later date. So I'm quite happy to do that. So we're going to port then. I love all the lights on this boat. It is so cool. These are working lights and uh, operating lights, of course. Very important. Might as well just get Bart hand gutting that the final few pieces there. So we're rolling to port <clears throat> and uh, we'll grab some crew. Sell our fish, obviously. 148,000. That's not too bad, I suppose. It's nowhere near the 250,000 that we pulled in on the Sharken, let's be fair. But um, yeah, this boat could be expanded, I suppose, so we could have four times that. So uh, money, money should be easier to obtain with the uh, Vebeki Catherine, Catherine, I suppose. Right, uh, what have we got here crew-wise? So we've got Johansson, 
Victoria, Rudy, and Roar. Roar. Roar Abrahamson. He's quite good, actually. Six thousand, six and a half thousand krona, or, or sixteen and a half thousand krona, and a rate of five percent. So he's not bad, actually. His stamina is smaller than everybody else's, but his abilities are good. It's easier to build up one thing, i.e. stamina, than it is to build up all of his stats. So, um, that's my advice. Also, this needs to scroll, because I've got a sneaky suspicion there's somebody below Victoria there, but I can't scroll down to see them. And when I try, it just uh, changes the camera outside. So that is a bug. That will need to be fixed. But, um, yeah, it may even be fixed, because there's an update coming out on Monday, which is today. Hopefully I'll get this video up today, otherwise it'll be yesterday if this one goes out on Tuesday. So, yes, we need some staff. I think, um, in terms of skills, Rudy is the man, followed by Raw, and then probably... Uh, just checking their skills, I think uh, Raw is pretty well suited to our boat at the moment. And you can see someone else has popped up there, Tor Jongsen, Jorgensen, sorry. Good stamina, terrible stats. Now, you, you never want to take somebody with good stamina and terrible stats. You want to do it the other way around, always. Because it's so much easier to boost up stamina than it is to boost up somebody's stats. So we've got two more crew members on board. That's a maximum of three. So we're fully, fully crewed. And uh, we'll just have a look at these jobs here. Unfortunately, you still can't take multiple jobs. You can only do one of these, which is a pain in the ass. So we're not going to bother with those because the amount of money you make on them is just not worth the effort. If you could stack them, then maybe that would be a different story. Right, let's get these lines baited. I'm tempted to get a 10,000 long line, but I think we're going to fill up the boat pretty darn quickly. Plus, I can't afford it anyway. So, um... Yeah, wow, our money disappeared quickly. I just spent 100,000 on fuel and crew. We'll get a 500 line because two 250s was enough to nearly fill the boat, so uh, that kind of makes sense. There's no point in having a 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, 10,000 line because they're just going to pull in more fish than you can possibly fit in the boat. So until that's changed, we'll stick with the 500 line and hopefully that will get changed soon. Cool. Let's. Uh, Let's head out to the open sea, and I can show you how this little beauty handles the waves. Now, getting out of port is a bit tricky, I've discovered. I think you can buy side thrusters, um, but uh, we don't have any yet, and they're pretty expensive. So we're just kind of going to roll all the way along the edge. Oh, took a smack there. All the way along the edge. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, God, yeah nasty but luckily we've got crew who can fix that so we've got Bart doing some cooking and we've got Raw and the other guy whose name I've forgotten already um, just processing those fish um, which is cool that's exactly what we need them to do and uh, those fish will be ready to sell by the time we get in so we've got a small amount of fish in the hold already let's get out to open sea and see if we can't uh, get some more fishy wishes on board so I said I'd uh, put a cinematic together and uh, show you how awesome this boat handles in the water and look at this. She is unbelievably elegant. I mean, well, I say elegant, she's kind of like a, a drunken bra model. Uh, I don't know, very top heavy and uh, a little bit all over the place. So uh, for some reason I like that. I don't know why. And that doesn't really say anything about me, so don't read anything too much into that but this is actually a really cool boat so far and I've driven all of them now this is the last one I've had to drive and this is I think my favorite um, and I, I, I think you know going out you can't go out to open sea with this boat I don't think because you can't trawl with it um, but uh, yeah I absolutely adore this little boat and um, I shall be having a lot of fun making a lot of money and buying the the Hermes and the Luna Bow and continuing our Let's Play season or series um, just to get all of that completed and hopefully I'll put together some tutorials as well. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to just leave you with some footage of this fantastic boat hitting some big waves and just handling them, handling them like an absolute pro. No issues at all. Look at that. What a fantastic boat. The Vibeki Catherine, Catherine, Catarran, 
I don't know how you say it, but my goodness me, I do like it. Guys, thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves. Until next time, goodbye for now.